Having a custom channel banner is a great way to brand your YouTube channel. I'm going to show you exactly how to create one using Adobe Express. Let's jump in. Now, if you don't have an account with Adobe Express, I'm going to include a link in the description to be able to sign up for one. If you already are part of the Adobe Creative Cloud like myself, then you have the account already available to you, whether you've used it or not. And that's going to bring you into your dashboard here. And they have all sorts of different types of things that you can create in here. What we're focused on today is creating a YouTube channel banner. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Browse Templates. And this is one of the things that I love about Adobe Express is it gives you a lot of pre-built templates that you can then customize for exactly what you need. So you don't need to be a graphic designer to create a really stunning YouTube channel banner. So once you're in the templates, we're going to go up to the top and we're going to just search for YouTube banner. And it's going to come up with a whole bunch of different banners, as you can see through here. So you can go through the filters and really kind of drill down even further to find exactly the style or look that you're look, looking for. But as I'm looking through this, I see one I already like, which is this one here. So you just click on that and then you click on customize template. And so this is going to pop up for your channel artwork. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is with YouTube channel banners, it's formatted a certain way because it shows up different on different devices. So primarily on your computer, you're going to kind of see this middle bar, but on TV and some bigger displays, it shows some of this background here. So it's important to keep that in mind so that's not just blank space, but most of the information, the key information that you're going to be looking for, you want to have right within this top here. So now we're going to go through and we're going to customize some of these elements that are in here. This is the look of the banner right here. And then across the side, you can see all the different elements and pieces, parts that are in there. Okay. So first we're just going to change the name here. So we're just going to click on the, where it says John Doe, we're going to highlight it and we're going to add my name, Andy Canode. And you can see when I did that, it's a little bit, my name's longer. So we're just going to grab the corners here and just drag this down to make it a little bit smaller. And then we grab this to slide over the width of it. And then it's going to fit back in there just like that. And it's not a gaming channel. We are doing reviews. So we're going to go review channel. Then next, obviously that's not me. So we're going to add our own photo in there. And so what we want to do is we're going to want to head over to the side here and we want to go to upload, click on upload. And then all you need to do is just scroll on your computer to find exactly the photo or image that you want to use. And we'll just go with that. And then you click on open. Now it's going to bring this picture up and it's already going to insert it into there. And now we're going to do a couple of things just to match this up even more. All right. So what we want to do is we're going to click on the picture and go over here and click remove background. And now I have a plain background, but this works even if you don't have a plain background or it's a little bit busier. And what we're going to do is then we're going to click on this image and grabbing the corners, we're just going to slide this down. Then we're going to slide this down. We're going to get my image to fit right in there. And then when we're over here, I'm just going to click on the old image there and we're just going to hit delete. Okay. So now I have my picture in there and we have my information. They have subscribe, like, and comment. What I like to do is give people the expectation of what they're going to get from this. So instead of saying subscribe, like, and comment, I want to say new videos weekly. Then I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger, dragging the side here. There we go. So same kind of style, but it's new videos weekly. And then I don't need that little bell icon. So again, we're just going to select that and go delete. Okay. So now we can fill that space even more. And I'm actually going to move it up a little bit here because you have the option across this spot here to add links to your social media accounts once you get it into YouTube. So I'm going to do that. So then what I like to do is once I kind of have all the components, all the elements in there as I want them, then I want to go through and make my own branding choices based on what I want. So we're going to click on the, the, my name here 
and I want to change the look and style of this. They have an option here to give you recommended fonts. So I'm going to view all and I'm just going to go through here and find the one that I like best here. I kind of like this one here. OK, nice and bold. Make that a little bit bigger. And then we're going to click on the review part. Same sort of thing. We're just going to go to the these and we're going to pick something a little bit different. Let me see. Maybe I'll do something like that. And we're just going to make that a little bit bigger here. And you can see when you drag this around, it gives you some guidelines. So it's showing you where it lines up in the image overall. And then what I want to do is I want to center it to my name. So if we slide it over, see a line pop up there showing that it's lining up with my name in the center. So we want it to be right there. OK, I'm happy with that. I think that's the right look for those. We're going to close that out. We're going to get out of the effects here. And what I want to do is I want to go up to the theme and I want to change these colors. So this is based on the template, but we can go through here and find our own kind of color theme. Again, if this is something you already have designed, you can layer that in, but I'm just kind of building this as we go. So I like this modern theme. So I'm just going to click on that and you can see what it does is that didn't really line up the way that I want it. So let's try something a little different. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot, but my name isn't quite what I want it to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the name. And we just want to change the color here. Maybe we just want it white. Now yeah, that pops really nicely. That's what I really like about the themes that it gives you the best kind of color combinations to work with as sort of a starting point. And then you can make adjustments as you need to. Now, as I did that, I'm going now this background image doesn't quite have the right look. So we want to go up to the background color and we want to change that. Maybe that's a little too on the nose. There we go. That gives us a nice background color, but still all these sort of different effects in there. So this is looking pretty good so far. I want to do one more thing here with my picture is we want to click on the picture and I want to make some adjustments to that. So we can go through, we can boost up the contrast, we can boost up the brightness, bring down some of the highlights, shadows, and really kind of make it pop, make it a little more saturated. Now this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Once it is the way that you want it, it's saving it to the cloud, but we want to change the name up here to just call it Andy's Banner version two. Okay. And now once you have that in there, all you need to do is go up to download, click download. It's going to ask you if you want to save it as a PNG or a JPEG. We'll leave it as the PNG. And you click on download and it'll start downloading that and it'll save that into your folder wherever you have your downloads. And because this is already formatted exactly the way that it needs to, you add it to your YouTube channel and there's no additional adjustments needed. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.